Hi, I'm joined by Tommy Williams after this afternoon's 2-1 win against Lewis in the FA Trophy. And before we start, I think it's quite important to say that the reason these interviews haven't been happening so much recently is nothing to do with Tommy or management. It's due to us and our time. Um, I think there's been a bit of unfair criticism about Tommy elsewhere, um, and I just wanted to sort of say that publicly. Um, Tommy, on to today's game. Uh, what was the difference between the teams apart from those two rivals' goals? Uh, well, I thought we were like two different sides. First half, we were we were poor, um, didn't move the ball well enough, um, didn't, uh, lacked, we lacked a bit of desire to get in the box. We, we did create chances, and um, I thought their shape uh, was causing us a few problems, and that's why we made the, the change at half time. Brought um, Leo Leary um, onto, onto the second half, and I thought he, he was excellent. And our shape changed words. We created a lot more chances second half. Um, in our starting positions um, and cause them a lot of problems and, and stop them from playing any sort of football. So um, before the game we had a we obviously had a problem with um, Pico broke down in the warm-up so um, Tom Derry came in place of him um, and obviously he came, he came off at half time. Um, like I say the shape change I thought we worked a lot better second half and um, I thought we, we deserved a win. You mentioned that obviously improvement in the second half, but in the first half we weren't quite there. Um, were you happy to only go one down? They hit the bar at, at least once. Uh, were, 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 you, were you thinking one isn't enough? Or would it have all gone wrong if it went down to two? I thought we, were, we looked uh, vulnerable, which is unlike us uh, from set plays. Alan Ings came back into the uh, starting lineup today, um, and his organisation and leadership have um, been missing for a couple of games. So, Coming back in those those situations, he, he, he sort of takes control and deals with very well usually. But um, today we looked vulnerable um, and we looked a bit shaky. And, you know, obviously look, we, we are on the, the, the back of four defeats. Um, confidence can be rocked, um, but like I say, I think we showed good character for the second half to come out and. Um, Um, we've talked about uh, Pico Gomez not, not being in the team today and people who've come back. Well, we've had a few departures, uh, Jake Nixon and Michael Onorigum. Uh, where, where have they gone? Um, Jake Nicholson, um, he, he left to, to sign, to go back to Walk Casuals. Um, we received a seven day approach and Jake um, wanted to go back um, to, to Walk Casuals, which he did do. Michael wasn't in the um, in, in the squad today, obviously, look, Leo Leary's come in. We have to um, you know, balance the books as well, and um, you know, so yeah, Michael wasn't in the squad today. And, and we've spoken previously this season and last season about game management. I thought when when Case did go into the league, we did manage to kill the game probably as much as I've ever seen Case do. Really, um, we must be quite happy with that side. Of things. Yeah, game management was good. Um, that's the sec second half, and I think uh, another experienced player um, with, with Leo Leary being on the pitch helps in that. You know, sometimes it's about guiding a, a ball into an area when you're under pressure, and he does that very well. He's he's um, he, he's another organiser in the middle of the park, and you know I think it's, it's, it's well documented that I, you know wanted an uh, experienced midfielder. Um, This game on the back of four defeats, like you said, and in the context of a really disappointing exit of the FA Cup in an early round. Um, did you feel if we lost this game today, your job was under threat? Um, no, I mean, listen, if you don't win football games, you know, um, it's, it's part, you know you're going to feel pressure, and that's, and that's part and parcel of, um, of management. Um, I thought we owed it to the football club, I thought we owed it to our uh, supporters. So, so look, you know, you know, 
know, I'm, I'm hurting like everybody else, you know, four defeats is, um, it's, 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 you know, something that we're, we're not about at Kingstonian, and, and I do get that, and um, like I say, I'm working very hard um, to, to, to try and make sure that we, um, we have a successful season, and um, like I say, a trophy is a, is a, is a good competition to be in, um, and like I say, with the early exit of the FA Cup, it was, um, we had to get through today, and um, that's how delighted that we are. We are through into the next round, and um, I'd, lo I'd love a, a cup run. I know we wanted an FA Cup run, and we've always said it. Um, but if we can get a trophy run going and, and, and put some smiles back on people's faces, then, then that'd be great. So it, uh, we talked at the beginning of the season what the target was for this season, but now we, you know, we're, it, it looks tough for the promotion playoff, but the playoff basis. But I, I guess that's still the aim. But what is the aim? For the trophy, I mean, we obviously go as far as, as we can, it is, is the, the typical thing that one would say. But um, how, how important is that for, for you as a, and, and for, for the club? Well, it's very important. Um, it's, financially, it's very important. You know, we, this football club, you know, we've, we, we, we have to cut our cloth accordingly. You know, we, 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 we've said that. Um, it is difficult. The financial gap between some of the some of the other sides is is, is a lot bigger than it used to be. Um, so you know. So what would you what would you look for in the in the next round? Do you want a, a, a home winnable game against someone from a lower league? Or do you, uh, yeah, I mean a, a home draw would be great. That's that's what we want, and we look to um, you know we look to go as far as we can in, in the um, in the FA Trophy. But you know our. our we're not. We're seven points off the playoffs at the moment. That's the way I'm looking at things. Um, you know, we we know that if you can string back-to-back -back results in this league, it can push you up the table um, you know, quite a few places because it is so tight in there. So we're looking to to, to get a run going. That's that's what we want. Um, and you know, we need to use today's result as a springboard to really kick us on. And, and um, like I say, I'll start putting some smiles back on people's faces because. Listen, I, I, I do get there is a, a lot of doom and gloom around the place because of uh, the uncertainty of the future of with the ground and everything. So I, I, I do get that. Um, and listen, I, 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 I'm working tirelessly to, to make sure that we have a positive season and we have as much success as we possibly can uh, this season. So do you feel about the uncertainty about the ground and the, the future legal structure of the football club? Is that is that seeping into the players or is it a separate thing? Oh, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and use that as an excuse while we've, um, we've, we've been inconsistent this season and, and um, you know, we're on the back of four, four defeats. I'm not going to sit here and use that at, at all. It is, um, obviously it would be great to know um, exactly what's going on, but you know, you trust in the, in, in the board and um, that they're, they're making the right decisions and, and going to be, um, you know, securing our future. There's been a criticism of you, the management, and, and you personally. Yeah. Um, how do how do you take that? Whether it's it, it's on the internet or, or, or vocally at the game, how do you take that? And how, how should how should one react to that I mean, away from the heat at the moment? Well, listen, everyone everyone's entitled to, to their opinion. Football's all about opinion, so. So people can come in and you know pay their money and and, and they want to be entertained and they want to they want to support their club and see their club be successful and um, it's, I, I, I'm, I'm no different. I, I played for the club. Um, you know I, I, I'm working tirelessly to, to make sure that we 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 are successful on the pitch. Like I say, it is it is difficult with um, you know. Uh, I don't, I'm not going to sit here and talk about budgets and things, but it is difficult with, with finances that some of, the, some of the other bigger clubs, you know, just pay a lot more money, as simple as that. So, you know, pre-season we, we missed out on um, quite a few targets that, that we wanted. Um, some had agreed and then moved on to um, uh, for, for better deals um, already. So, listen, we, we, we're working hard. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. You know, I'm, I know I'm not everyone's um, flavour of the month at the moment, but listen, I, I need to, we need to win football matches as simple as that. And you know, we won today, but you know, we're certainly not getting carried away because we've we've, we've beaten Lewis. I, 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 you know, we said a positive result, and we need to use it as a springboard and really make sure that we um, that we kick on from today. And um, like I say, the, 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 the players' feet are firmly on the ground. 
um, after today's result, and we know we've got a, a big game coming up against Hendon on, on, away on Tuesday night. There's some difficult fixtures coming up, so you know we, we're going to need everybody um, working. Like they say. And you talked about uh, looking upwards towards the promotion playoff races, but some case fans are looking over their shoulder, and I think one of the criticisms I've heard the most is that. Um, the team at the moment isn't performing to the level of some of the parts. And you look through the, the players, and um, there's, some, there's some really good players in there. And so, what, what is that thing that's gone wrong? Is it just is it just a confidence thing, or are we, are we missing significant players in significant positions? No, I think um, I think there was uh, we've got we've got a, a fairly young side. You know, there's some, there's some younger players that. Um, you know, when, you, when you're not winning football games, it, it affects their confidence more than, than a couple of senior ones. Um, we've had individual mistakes this year that we've been punished for. And you know, if you're if you're on a four or five winning streak, those mistakes you don't get punished for. But at the moment, um, we, we have been punished. We haven't um, we haven't had any consistency um, this season. It's something that we're that obviously we're looking at, and um, you know, we've we've, we've uh, got some. Pictures coming up that are going to be tough, but we, we you know, I believe in the squad of players and, and um, I believe in the group, and uh, you know, and I'll make sure that we do get a run of a form going and, and, and start build, you know, climbing the table, table and building some confidence on and off the pitch. Okay. Thanks for time today. Uh, best of luck against Hendon. Um, I will say before we cut this video that Monday Halloween is the last day to register to vote on the community-based club uh, idea that Kingston have at the moment. Uh, the, the links will be embedded into this video. Um, you have to sign up on Monday to get a vote. You don't have to vote on Monday. You can see what happens. You don't even have to vote at all. But the last day to register to vote is this Monday to see what happens with the, the future legal structure of Kingstonian. So don't miss out on that. Thanks, John. Thanks, Dobby. Cheers. Cheers, mate.